Okay, now this is a fairly normal patch of forest floor. This is what it looks like. And over here we have a kangaroo's day camp, which by the look of it, a rabbit has dug itself a little bit of a hole in. But this is what a kangaroo's day camp normally looks like. This is what I'm used to seeing. A kangaroo finds itself a nice little spot and clears all the sticks and leaves and gets a bed of bare dirt to lie in. Right? That's kangaroo's day bed number one. Now, the mother of the uh, kangaroo that made this, this is done by Kevin, the Kung Fu kangaroo. Kevin's mother, Kerry, she has her own little day bed over here. And she's bigger, so it's bigger. And here's what I find to be really, really weird. She apparently likes soft, loose dirt. So there's an inch or so of soft, loose dirt. And this stone is in the middle of her day bed. She's moved that stone away. She's moved that little rock away. She's got rid of that stone over there. But unless I miss my guess, Kerry the Kung Fu Kangaroo has been sitting here rubbing this stone backwards and forwards to get the dirt nice and soft and pleasant to sit in. And uh, look, see, here's another stone that she's thrown away while she's kept that one. And if I can get footage of a kangaroo using a stone tool to flatten and level the dirt for a, a day bed, I reckon that's nearly as good as a crow that turns a coat hanger or turns a paper clip into a tool for pulling grubs out of a crack in the tree. A kangaroo that uses a stone to level the ground on a day bed. Yeah, Kerry of the Kung Fu Kangaroo Clan. People talk about a mare's nest, well now you've seen a kangaroo's day camp.